In this session, I'm going to show you how to connect the RFM dongle to the Checkstar Multi that connects to the IQ View. When you sign on, you need to go to the Settings mode and click Settings. And you need to go to the 8 of 9 application. And here, the factory mode is unchecked. The factory mode is used when you are plugging in a transducerized uh, rotary transducer or a transducer that has a cable. To make sure that you're going to pair a wireless transducer to it, you need to check factory mode. So you click on the factory mode, <clears throat> and you go back to home. And then we go into the transducers. And here is where you'll see a area of up to six wireless products that can be connected. And so what I'm going to do is on my um, RFM, I'm going to click and turn on, and there should be a blue button. And then after that, I want to turn it and hold it for a little bit longer, and you'll get a, a purple button. At this time, you can click on and hold and you'll get a pair you want to pair the device it automatically seeks the, um, the transducer if you like at this time you can click and hold and you can also edit a name so we can call this one 75 Newt meter transducer. If you want, you can put crane and press OK. Then you hold it down, just click it once, you're connected. You can go into the home selection, you can go all the way to check. check and what you're going to be able to do you have a blinking light on the transducer and I'm going to here's the blue light that's showing you're connected and basically I'm going to start doing torque readings and hello now what you're able to do we're not able to give you torque with a graph in real time with a wireless transducer. That is only done with a cabled transducer. You can also put in uh, jobs in this, walk away from the unit, and it will upload all the data away from the transducer into the check and to the IQ view. Here you get a green light, and a good, and you're connected. In the next session, I'll show you how to create a job.